Hey everyone! Today I will show you how to make your own bubble tea, aka how to impress your Singaporean friend. You see, we Singaporeans really love our bubble tea. Remember the time when all the bubble tea shops closed because of circuit breaker? Remember the long queues? That is an act of true love, ladies and gentlemen. So let us show you how to make bubble tea from scratch and I promise you, your Singaporean friend will love you for this. And by the way, remember to click on the subscribe button below for more videos you will love. And check out our Facebook and Instagram for even more lovely content. So, let us start with the pearls. To a small pot, add 70 grams of water, 5 grams of tapioca starch, and 60 grams of brown sugar. And bring it onto low heat. Meanwhile, measure up 135 grams of tapioca starch. Once the mixture starts to bubble, Turn off the heat, add the rest of the starch, and stir the flour in until you get something that looks like a dry dough. Mix it around for a bit, then pour it out onto a table and knead it into a smooth dough, something that looks like your kindergarten play dough. Now this is the part where you put in all your effort. Cut the dough into little chunks and shape them into balls, one by one. You can get a family member to help you, but if you're up for it, do it all by yourself. So while the barista shapes the pearls, let me just walk you through the signs. What just happened here is something called gelatinization. Gelatinization is a process whereby water molecules go into starch granules and cause them to swell. Many plant flowers, like a tapioca starch, contain two kinds of starch molecules. Amylose, which looks kind of like a spring, and amylopectin, which is more branched out. These are stored within starch granules and held together by hydrogen bonds. So you can sort of think about the starch granule like little starchy storehouses, and the hydrogen bonds are like ropes holding the starch molecules together. When you add water and heat it up, these hydrogen bonds between the starch molecules get broken, and the water molecules gush in between the starch molecules to fill up the space. This causes the starch granules to swell, and what you get is this nice smooth dough which you can roll around. And that's it! That is the science behind the pearls in your bubble tea. And I think the barista is finally done shaping his pearls. So once you're done shaping, pour the pearls in the hot water, let them boil for about 20 to 30 minutes, until they float to the top and become translucent and shiny. And while waiting for that, go ahead and brew your favourite tea. Get yourself some hot water, throw in your favourite tea bags or tea leaves, and steep it to your preference. Add as much milk as you like, or don't add milk at all, if that is your preference. And your pearls should be about done. Bring them out of the water, drain them, and mix them around with your preferred sweetener, like honey in this case. And finally, time to assemble the final product. Get a nice cup, spoon in some pearls, add some ice to the cup, and fill it up with milk tea. Top it off with more pearls if that's your thing. And there you have it! Now you're ready to impress a Singaporean friend with your homemade bubble tea. Or maybe it's time to start your own bubble tea business. This episode was brought to you by the Singapore Academy of Young Engineers and Scientists. If you like what we do, click on the subscribe button below for more videos like this, and check out our Facebook and Instagram for more content. And while you're here, check out the rest of the episodes in this series of Studying Tea. Remember, stay home everyone, stay safe, and we will see you really soon.